This morning, uh, sunrise was a bit of a <laughs> non-sunrise at all. Cradle Mountain was covered in cloud. Uh, the cloud did eventually lift, as you would have just seen in that video, and we've hung out here all day, did a heap of hiking around the circuits and whatnot to work out where we're gonna go for sunset. We're splitting up. Haley's heading up on the eastern side, yep. and I'm gonna head up on the western side. We've got some dinner packed each. We've both got our plans. We're gonna do some registration login, and then we're heading out for sunset. It's looking like it could be promising, but for now, time to pack up, sign in. Oh, look how burnt I got today too. The Tasmanian sun is so much more fierce down here. This is our dinner tonight. Just some boiled potatoes with a little bit of butter and some shallots. It's the dinner of champions, really. All right, love. Shallots. Love you. Shallots. That's what I'm here to photograph. That's where I've got to climb. Come on! Which part of the ridge to like? Ah, awesome. I had no chance of seeing her. No chance of seeing her at all. I'll get the tele lens out later and we'll have a we'll have a peek, see if we can pick her up. So I made it to Marion's lookout, which is sort of like my safe point to make sure I could get here on time. And now I'm just gonna head up to an area that I thought made a really good composition. Timing did pretty good. A little tired. We ran into the nicest guy. Uh, his name's John. He's been coming here for like, what is it, 67? So like 50 years. And he's done the Overland track 30 times, he was saying. Super nice guy, super knowledgeable. But damn, John, if you're watching this, you can bloody talk. Here I am, like, counting the minutes for sunset, trying not to be rude. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's gonna be exactly what I wanted, which, Usually, the things that you want are clouds, but because these peaks are so prominent, no clouds is gonna make them glow orangey red, and it's gonna look incredible if I get the light that I'm thinking we will. Haley's gone for a little bit of a different composition. She's gonna be on the other side, shooting part of Cradle Mountain, and also probably where I'm gonna be standing, so I'll be in her photos. <laughs> I've got about another hour and 10 before the sun goes down, so I'm gonna head out to the general area that I think this composition is really gonna work and also have some dinner and have a break. That didn't quite go to plan. I got up here, I had like an hour to spare until sunset, and then my phone rang and it was work and I had to take it. So I've now got maybe <laughs> 10 minutes, but while I was on the phone, I don't know if you saw in that last thing, I was like this. I was trying to set up the tripod and have something to eat as well. So what I've done is I've set up my tripod completely level and I'm just gonna move the ball around before I wanna take this panorama. So by moving the ball around, I can still take shots of, you know, zoomed in areas and whatnot. And uh, when I'm ready for the panorama, I'll be ready to go uh, just uh, 
set the ball up again, make sure it's level and off I go. Uh, settings wise, I've got a pretty flat scene in front of me. So I'm going to shoot at about f9 uh, with a bracket, of course, as usual. And what that's going to do is just because it is such a flat scene with nothing too, too close in the foreground, I should get a nice sharp Im image all the way through. And with that bracket, I'll be able to bring out some of these details in the shadows, reduce the highlights and whatnot. So this is, it's looking promising. So the tripod is completely level. So when I swivel it, it's going to track perfectly. And I've got the camera set up vertically. And what that's going to allow me to do is uh, sort of have a really large file by the end of it if I just make small incremental changes. Now I'm also set to manual mode and I'll also make sure my focus is set to the sort of the area on the mountain that I want in focus and then I'm going to set it to manual focus because I don't want it jumping in between frames uh, as I'm panning along for this image. It'll just make it harder to process and I might lose an image uh, out of that panorama. So sun setting now so I'm going to start the panorama Demo settings, tripod's level, I'm freezing but I'm full, got some work to do, F9, ISO 100, pano time, choice. So we're just losing the last of the light now. I'm um, just probably gonna take a couple more panoramas. <sighs> One thing though is you gotta do it quick because as the sun sets, well, as it becomes more and more of a setting sun, it dips lower and lower, quicker and quicker. And you don't want mismatched light lines on your horizon. So this is looking really good. I'm really happy with the color. I'm really happy with the contrast. The composition is really beautiful, I think. And like what a cracking sunset. If you watched my video last week, you would have saw that it was a terrible sunrise, but sunset is definitely making up for it. Oh, this is just incredible. <laughs> I'm so excited. I don't know why, I've seen plenty of sunsets, but this one is just a very iconic location and a spot that is just so difficult to photograph usually. So, so that's it, it's all over. All the light's gone, we've just got a little bit of cloud playing in the sky. What a contrast from this morning. We had cloud all over Cradle Mountain and now we've got nothing but sun all around. It's just incredible. Look, I hope you guys liked that video. Um, it was such an effort to get back up here because this morning we hiked from Dove Lake, which is behind there, all the way up this ridge, all the way up here, all the way down here, all the way in front of here and then all the way back here, down to the car park, just to do some scouting. Uh, Haley really liked the compositions that were on that side. When I was up here, I just saw what I wanted for today. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a like, hit subscribe, you know the usual jazz. Instagram will be down here somewhere, who knows. Uh, this is almost it for Tasmania. I've got, well, sorry, we've got a couple more days, probably, gonna try and come back out tomorrow morning again don't know but we've got walls of Jerusalem and then we are done for Tassie it has been such an epic journey here of so many hikes so many beautiful bits of scenery if you haven't been come to Tasmania because it is just incredible and it's moments like this yeah they kick your ass when you've got to walk up hills and hike up hills and carry your gear but when you're rewarded with things like this it makes it all worth it so 